Am I back? Am I maybe back? Let me know. Let me know when I'm back. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna reopen stuff because for some reason, it just crashed, which is great. I don't know why I did that. I looked at the VOD and it seems like I, you guys didn't miss out on anything. Literally just what happened happened, which is just like, um, he agreed that we should try or whatever. And then the game crashed and stream and like streamlabs crashed. So I have no idea why I did that. But, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get back into it and hope that it doesn't do it again. I was actually worried that was gonna happen today. For some reason, I was like, what if that happens again? Because it's happened in the past before. Um, so I was like, what if that happens again? And I was like, no, why would it happen again during the finale of the big game that I've been super hyped to play for the past week? <laughs> but of course it had to. Had to do it to him. It's alright. Hopefully when we continue, it won't restart the game. Please, fingers crossed, please, please have saved and not make me- Thank God. Alright, I would have been so angry you if I had to restart. Need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Uh, we're gonna have to restart, like, the whole fishing Just scene. Out that sucks. And fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno. I already got the achievement the though, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> right. More fishing. So, did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? What did I say last time? Uh, ever moves on. I'm gonna try people to keep came keep it linear. And besides. Everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. I like how he realizes before the fishing line this? even goes Can down. Alright. Guys, Come how on. do I fish? I have no idea how to do it correctly. No, give it a nice pull. Guys, I look, I'm a I'm a professional. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. Look at me. Wow, great. Hard, great. Wow. First of many. Amazing. Pace yourself. <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey. Sorry, I gotta make sure that stream Streamlabs kind of reset to what it was at the beginning of the stream for some reason. I just gotta make sure all the settings are correct real quick. Uh, yeah, we're good. Did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river yes, might please. Soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. I want to go fishing again. It's really fun. Yeah, sure. It's a fun Sweet. little mini game. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey. So, the other day you were talking about your chosen family. Hi, Dre. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle uh, woke me checked. up and told me to get into his car. I figured we are going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE. Yeah, he didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That's an awesome uncle. That sounds amazing. You know, I feel, you I feel like I didn't listen to this the first time. My offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I think I'd like that. I I'm not sure where I'm going. <laughs> I wish there's someone yeah, else in chat. If I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. Then I can just time someone out. There's other people viewing. They're just lurking, I assume. Alright. Uh, you got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? 
Okay, fine, be that way. Alright, All right. here we go. Here we go. Time to hit that fish in the face with my pole. Yeah. Sometimes I just talk. And you guys have to listen. That's the bad part. Effortless. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. This is unbearable, playing it again. With excitement <laughs> That's time. unbearable. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. Um, I pushed her too hard. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Okay, uh, I didn't really think about that. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <sighs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Alright. Is there anything else? So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person, you know that? You betcha. Don't you say anything. Come on, all right. Oh, so close. My finger slipped off the R key. There we go. Easy. Oh. Whoa. Bam. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> Twice in a row with I the three out of three. Look at me. Clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer are my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready? Let's hope this doesn't crash again. To uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there, just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet These someone who nice. really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. 
don't you? Imagine I, I hit X accidentally. Agreement here. Yeah? That would have sucked. Yeah, I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Oh shit. Was there a bear there? Hey. You're missing the show. I thought I saw a bear. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I don't like PDA, but sure. You okay? I don't hate PDA, I just hate these like really quiet moments when you're kind of just a third party watching, you know? But hey, we did it! We did the thing we've wanted to do for ages! Let's go! The future's gonna be lit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get Tyler and uh, Michael and Allison in a nice little apartment. Going to get rid of this old shit brick. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Uh, call me later? You know I will. They did, Emma. Sorry Congrats. They did, Kit. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So? What is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I did. Yeah, arson is not something... I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? I forgot about this. Ooh, I'm so excited. I want to look We've at this. Come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. This is fun! Secret room, secret room! Oh, I love secret rooms. Like, in houses that you've already, like, 
you know, that you've known that for ages and then you just find a secret area. Now, don't shove me, how dare you. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So ladder. Obviously the ladder's gone. But what do you mean the ladder's gone? Is it still here somewhere? What do you mean the ladder's gone? I'm looking right at it. You want to take another look at the picture? It might help. Okay, wait. Well, first, okay. First of all, let me out. Second of all, what's no the this? Man, this place is a. I thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. I keep thinking that circle is a is a. What's that? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. There's a body! We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? There. The handle should be behind this. Oh, yeah. There it is. Open. Let's go. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Let's find a way to climb up there. I found a way like 10 minutes ago. Right, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Any collectibles? Because there's one more that I got to get. Doesn't look like it. All right. Come with me. Let's put you in my pocket. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the funk? Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... What is this room? What the heck? Here, found a switch. <gasps> Jesus. Once upon a time, there was a young princess. Something, oh. something. I missed oh, a little bit of that. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. Evil dream, all right. This is a mad hunter, clearly. Whoa. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful area. It's... Her story. Look, she left us something. <sighs> oh, yes, a puzzle. All right. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Oh, and Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Please, yes. Let's start here. Let's go. Hell yeah. I love solving these puzzles. All right. All right, let's start here. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Oh, fuck. Okay, it's the same. Okay, spot the differences. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. It's just a random star. No special meaning. Does his smile look different to you? No, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it is different. Uh, that tree huh. is not there. No goblets. Yeah, 
In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Marianne's not there. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away, just like the princess is here. The hand isn't supposed to be there, is it? Or not. The no. Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So yeah. this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah, at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Okay. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. What's this? There's no Why do you think she had that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kind of rich? That star... Stars look fine, I think. Um, I think she had that flower. Oh, that flower. Like, like an innocence loss kind of thing. No, the f no the flower is there. Uh, really grasping that straw. Yeah. Huh. And this too. The flower. flower's there. Was that in the original picture? Never mind. That's nothing. Okay, so teeth. Teeth also, I think I just miscounted. There is seven, so teeth don't aren't needed. There we That's go. It. Whoa. What's in there? Well, let's see. Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. All right, time to go through. The gold lady. Well, first that was of all, definitely her mom. So. Did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. All right, we got all three from this chapter. Nice. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? My birdie Polly, I'll miss you forever. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Did you know she studied engineering? No. Wow. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. You just are better than cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is it's all just been too much to deal with and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with this, with all this on our own without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done, it's probably too late for that now. I'm sorry, you're an amazing person and you made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we're both better off apart. Uh, Brent. All right, Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? You think the guy with her is Brent from the letter? I would guess so. Tyler. See that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Wait, what little light are you talking? Okay. All right. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. All of this is related to what we found in there. What? What happens if I choose something? Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. 
I think she probably is setting dog. the animals free. Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. I'm sure she probably had a dog. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. Oh, unhappy she looks. Okay, so she didn't want to be doing the thing that she's doing. Um. Okay, interesting. What are the differences in these pictures? The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. There's money and stuff. There's so much to look at. What the hell? Heartbreak. And this last one. Hmm. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Nope. Painter. Axe person. So let's go with Figured the axe. Figured anything out yet? I'm stumped. Uh, I'm totally stumped. Oh, these are just to get. I want to see the gold in there. I have no clue what's going on with this picture of the gold lady whispering. Hmm. She seems to be whispering to one of these guys. Maybe we should check out the breakup letter. Breakup letter. Okay. Um. Wait. Sword. She changed her major major from engineering to visual arts. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, engineering makes sense for that one. Um, she didn't want to be doing this, right? She didn't want to be doing whatever it is in this one. But I'll keep ballet just for now. Um. Okay, wait, so who was the guy in the letter? What was important about this guy? Um, the damage is done, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's leave this a picture guy? of him. Um, environment over, okay, so it looks like a painter. So this person's, a oh wait, they had a bird. Yes. Aww, okay. Poor thing. Oh shit. Bird. So you think Mary Ann's mom took away her pet? Why would she do that? Maybe as a kind of punishment, or just because she was mean. Is that it? It's opening. Let's go. What's in there this time? Right. I was overthinking it. I thought I was gonna have to guess from her past, like from things we've learned about her so far. But no, it was all in that stash. A house. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Oh, so that's how she found the house. My Delos crossing pal's number. I let him know you were interested in the house he's selling. No, I was looking for the other one, but okay. Oh, uh, Eco Village Arts Workshops. Oh, jeez. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? father I have to read this okay <laughs> I'm really bad at reading but okay I hope this letter finds you <laughs> wow I already messed up I hope this letter finds you but since you don't leave any contact information I'll have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best I'm ready to inform you that your mother passed away last week we just had her funeral reception the house has been filled with people all day friends family colleagues and church members 
It's now 11 p.m. and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Your cousin, AD, brought in a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures in Lacana. You're, you're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years, and we can only hope you made it to Alaska or wherever you are and that you and your child are both safe. Child. They still think it's just one. Your mother had been sick and depressed for years, and you imagine why the pain of being shunned by her own daughter, knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up, it, it spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock. After dropping off college and without a penny to your name, she only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Marianne. A mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you'll be able to understand what good parent that good parenting isn't about coddling. Wow, that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know, Dad. Wow, her dad's a little harsh, a little bit hell? harsh. Marianne was pregnant in 1992 before Wait. she even got here. What? Before us. They have a sibling. Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? I thought that that was them. She could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Yeah, he's right. They don't seem great. Alright, what's next? Oh, sorry. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Mm. Here, the secret keeper. Hiding secrets in the clouds. Back in your pond, big frog. There you go, stalwart moose. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. I don't have the old everything. The bear's got to be in his ice cave. Gold Lady stays locked up in her castle. I know I don't have everything, so what are we going to do? Because, yeah, I assume there'd be another one over here. And I'm missing two! The no! princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. I knew it. I knew I should have. Moon hacks oh. present in her lake. I knew there'd be some secret Crafty extra thing here. that happens. That's the pious pelican spot. Crap. Okay. If I play it again, I'll I'll do a small recording for social or something where you guys can see what happens. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? Wait, what's this thing now? We'll get to those later. Let's All right. One, okay. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map. Uh, one day she took her tiara and ran away to the forest. That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. I'm just gonna put that on them so I get what they are. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. This is the princess's turn. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? No, I just did it wrong. This looks like a dinner party with oh, the crap. old bear and the very old beaver. So that's definitely the last one. It starts at the castle. Then it goes to, uh, we're gonna have to check the timings on the last one. All right. Is that Carol? Yeah. Can we see what Sam. day this is? Look at him. He's so young and happy. Okay, uh, I guess we can't. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. T stands for Juno. No wonder yeah. she was so handy. Clockmaker. Okay, so we have a clock. So this is before she comes to Delos. Uh, I keep clicking on this one. But actually, Salmon Bear's... 
Oh, okay, the salmon bear. Yeah, so it's, um, she starts at the house, she goes to salmon, then she goes to clock, then she goes to, um, hang on. Okay, house, is there another one? Okay, salmon. What's that plant thing on top? Some sort you, of clock? This you, is the princess's house. This you. looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Mm -hmm. Boom! Yes. Did What's it. In there? Another letter? The princess is lost. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Uncovers the princess is lost. Well, sure treasure. looks like it could be. Oh, crap. Okay. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods into that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate flight from the Mad Hunter. The trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house. A pillow near the window where sun would ca catch on, it, on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marveling its beauty and running its thumb down its curves. Running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it's shown it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it, place it upon her head, and walk through the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Biz what, after all, was a princess without a crown. Wow. Every night she would place it upon its pillow, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She had to be separate from it, but she knew it was safest on the pillow while she slept. Ah! One night, the princess woke up to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in their panes. Fearing a gust would burst open a window and blow the tiara to ground, she plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All through the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess relaxed. That day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara an even more thorough cleaning. Grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night, she placed the tiara on a bunch kill up, pill, top, <laughs> pillow, gave it a quick kiss, and went to bed, pausing on, its, on her way to make sure it was still there. In the morning, she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, and faded. Nothing else in the room had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The windows closed. There had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything at all, at all had gone amiss. Only the broken tiara, mute upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry, but though she tried to fix it and to polish it, it was gone beyond repair and with no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on sapling. She remembered how the sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara, ta -pa -ta -pa, tiara in the ground beneath the sapling, and as the final scoop of dirt fell, wow. of dirt fell, <laughs> The tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful ground, ground, parent, parent, gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient, ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most treasure. Pre cool. <laughs> her most treasure and her title. <sighs> that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. I really lost it at the end there. That was Jesus the story Christ. she read us that night. God. That makes sense now. Yeah. She got pregnant. Oh, that was a miscarriage. And Wasn't it? She ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. 
I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. Oh, jeez. That actually she is... She just couldn't lose any more children. That's so sad. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Oh, I wish I got all the figurines. Can't believe I missed just the two. The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> Wait, wait, we got A, N, I guess? L, A, N, L, O, S, E. What's a three letter word that be meaningful to her? A, N, L, O, S, C. A, N, L, O, S, C. Oh, crap. What's important to her? Do you know? What would what would be the most important thing to Okay, wait. We haven't actually Tyler, looked at these. We're not done with this one. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Fine. Maybe something at the end. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, there's always hidden stuff. Yes, AO. There's an AO down there. There's another AO there. Oh, it stands for uh, Tyler's dead name and Allison. So who would the last one be? All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> the last one, what was her name again? Marianne. And it's also red, orange, yellow, which must mean something. Crap, dude. Okay, they're on either side, and she's in the middle. So maybe that's how it's supposed to look. I mean, why don't we... we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. I like the riddles. I'm just a little confused. All right, let's just try spam this. Hope something triggers it. If not, we'll switch the O and A. Try again. Come on, it's gotta be something. Uh, what would it be? Should I write down the letters and try to figure out something? Is it the same for all of them? It looks like it. All right, all right, let's get it loosen up. All right, thank God I have post-its and a pencil and eraser right here. Let's do this. Let's crack this damn code. All right. We've got E, A, N, L, O, S, and back to E. Okay. E A N L O S. E A N L O S. Lan. Lee. 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 Mm. No. Oops. And there's also O and A, which are both letters for uh, for Allison and uh, all like Tyler's dead name. Sorry, I was gonna say. Almost messed up. My bad. Um, what would it be? Uh, I feel like. Ah oh, man, this is actually so difficult. 
Is it around the room, maybe? She finally found happiness. Then she finally found happiness. Where does it say that, maybe? Is there a place where she says, like, then she finally found happiness? Um... And that is how they forgave. And that is how they irritated them. Mm. Met the crafty goblins. Realized that ta two tank thieves were living under their house. Celebrate her first anniversary in the woods. Huh. Man, this this one's really difficult. I have no idea what I should be looking for. Uh, wait, no, there's three of these. There must be one in each of- Oh, I'm an idiot. O-L-E. O-L-E. I cannot believe it. That crowbar is sounding idiot. pretty okay. nice right now. I'm a fucking dumbass. Alright. We did it. 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 I think we did it. Did I not look at the colors right? I probably didn't. E is orange. L is red. Oh, it's a Leo. Right? Oh my god. I cannot believe that took me so long. Yeah, okay. Is sounding pretty nice it right is now. is the name Leo. I did it! Look at me! Wow! <laughs> okay, cool. Yes. Jesus, that took way too long. Whoa. Did it just get darker in here? Oh my god. Wait, dear Alice, Allison and Tyler Steadman. Ollie. She, uh, she noticed. We write stories to understand and be understood. But what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Leo Ronan, wow. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Wait, I didn't... Okay. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Alright. Guess she's ready. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that like it. Okay, well, we know what the baby blanket's for. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? The old bear's gifts for the princess. Da -da 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 I'm gonna hope they tell me when to stop, or else I'm gonna have to actually look for it myself. Nope, gotta look for it myself. Yep, yeah, baby. <laughs> I guess I should be looking for the exact picture, right? Oh, it's this one. Fresh caught salmon? Wait. Some honey? Do I have to actually read it? Alright, you know what? I'm, this is, if I have to read it, I'm just gonna dip. I'll t I'll do this you really later. You want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Let's just go, please. Either way, 
I'm ready for this to be. Clearly, ready. I'm bad at reading on stream. So, like, a lot. So, let's just not do that right now. Again, I'll probably put that on social media. If I end up solving all of them, I'll let you guys know what I found. What are we waiting for? I want to know who is here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom, 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 come on, come on, come on. Almost. Oh my god. Yup. I recognize the beard. It's Tom. I, I recognize that beard from earlier. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Who said it? it Me. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. That's what I thought. God, That's Marianne what I thought. And Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, Hold it! Him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need Let's to talk. go. I'm we know it was you. so glad. I'm so glad for that secret to be out because I called it from the beginning of the chapter. All right, let's see how this conversation goes now. As happy as I am that I figured it out, it's not going to be a fun conversation. I mean, he did literally try to burn down our barn, so... Not a good person, most likely. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Is he gonna try to kill us or some shit? I mean, he really wants to win that mayoral race, dude. Like, real bad. I I'm kinda scared that he's gonna try to kill us or some crap. Kids, listen. You're our father. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. I don't think she was happy to. Um. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I, I know it wasn't my best moment. But she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Um... You hearing me? Yep. Sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Allie. I'd rather not think about it. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. 
I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made. One way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. I don't even know which one to yell at about more. You prayed on her. We already that yelled about the abandoning. You prayed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. Oh, shit. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Oh, shit.
She says, I'm not going to hurt you. Ah! Holy shit, dude. No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? You have to do it. Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. We have to do it. Don't touch her. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Is he threat? Is that a threat? Fuck alone. And never come back. We have to do it. Like, we have to. We can't let that sit there and let him become mayor. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. Oh. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me.
She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Oh. I guess it's possible. Oh, that is so bad. Fuck. Welcome, Robbie. We're about to end this game, I think, and... I, I don't know. Holy shit, dude. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something... That's it. Yeah. Bro, did you really just come here to say hi? I guess, at this point, you just... have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? to do Tom oh. I'm so annoyed because I know I have to do Tom's I want to do her so bad but or is it I'm stick to your memory yeah I I want to stick to mine so bad but Tom's is the right one man it's the only one that makes sense She was gonna kill herself. I thought she was gonna like her in. defend. Her. We, Fuck, we dude. Got confused. Oh Are my you god. Sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. Oh. It was our way of of explaining what she was going through. Are you fucking serious? I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey. It's okay. I'm here. <sighs> I thought she was gonna, like, maybe defend her children or, or, like, which is still bad to you do with a gun, but I didn't think she was gonna kill herself, leave her 11 year olds or 10 year olds alone. The attic was meant for them to understand the past, not. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little have aged well, or just gone bad? Where are you at right now? Where are you supposed to be right now? Keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I. I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again, ever.
What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge, brothers and sisters, to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Ah. Oh, it don't. I am so just broken here, man. She was. Oh, we just unraveled the entire mystery, and I I need Tom taken down right now. Six months later. Please tell me we took Tom down. Or did we just let let him? Is that Tyler? I'm not cutting my hair like that. No. No way. Not happening. I like my hair too much to just get rid of all of it. No, I don't have to. One last look. I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, oh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Yes. How's Juno? Big and full of people. 
even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? <laughs> Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. What exactly did Tom do? Tom is their dad, and he, well, cheated on his wife, Tessa, who was, um, Marianne's best friend. Uh, then he tried to cover everything up so that he wouldn't lose the election. Um, he watched Marianne drown without saving her. He tried to burn down their barn so that they wouldn't find out of uh, everything that happened. Um, so Tom losing the election is incredible. I'm gonna miss this. And, jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan? yeah. Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. <sighs> And they're still using the voice, which is nice. Ah, beautiful. Anyway. First of all, I want to see if there's anything... Because we can go inside, but I want to see what's up with this area. Goblins out. Okay, nothing. Well, um, so yeah. He is trash. Yep, he's absolute trash. But, it's okay. He lost the election. Um, he has no reason to spill what happened yeah. with Allison. Time to move on. This doc is incredible. So yeah, he has no reason to spill what happened with Allison with her actually killing Marianne because obviously they didn't realize that Marianne was actually completely fine um, with Tyler cutting his hair. Um, I've never been on this bench. Jesus, dude. This looks beautiful. This damn game. Okay, Ty? Actually, yeah. Everything really is. Oh! <sighs> wow. So, yeah. They are, uh... They're free of Tom. They know all of what happened with Marianne's past. And they've moved on. It's been six months now. Hopefully... Allison's okay now, because she knows that she killed Marianne for no reason. But, uh... Seems like they're doing better. Moving to Juno with, uh... With... What's his name? Fucking Michael. <laughs> He's such a side character, I kind of forget. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. Looks where to examine law enforcement crisis. Um. Okay. And yeah, Vecchi loses mayoral election against current mayor Leslie Scow. Declared victory with almost sixty-eight percent of the vote, widest margin of victory in Dallas Crossing history. Um, blah, 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 blah. Su her success has been mainly attributed to her willingness to reach across party lines. According to sources, uh, she invited Vecchi to join her mayor cambate cam okay mayoral cabinet, but Vecchi refused. He, refused, he declined to comment on the election results except to say that he plans to focus on his family and other business pursuits. Some in the community were baffled by his comments given the recent shuttering of Vecchi's business. 
um, the highly popular Tesla's blah, 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 blah. Okay. She was ending her thriving business to focus on personal and spiritual matters. Basically, she left him. She moved on from the business. He has nothing left. And he's going to die old and alone with no children because he didn't care enough to take care of them. Get fucked, you loser. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. This is something I want to read, though. Dearest Tyler and Allison, I'm writing this letter from Juno, Juno International Airport where I'll soon board a plane to Man- Manila on a missionary assignment. I apologize for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I was called to make this decision alone and to carry it out on my own as well. I'm sure you understand that sometimes we must follow without question the prompting of the Spirit. I will not be coming back to Dallas Crossing for some time. Before I go, there's still something I feel like I must confess to you both. Perhaps because I've never found the strength to confront my husband, I've never been able to forgive Marianne for her betrayal. I truly did love you both like my own children. (laughs) Are you reading willingly? I can't be true. And I always tried to forgive your mother for her unapologetic apologetic lifestyle but when i discovered that you were the fruit of, fruit of her f- affair with my thomas i wanted her to suffer like i was suffering and i brought down on your house the wrath i never dared allow to unf- unfold in mine i've been deeply ashamed for all these years and i'm surprised how much better i feel with it out in the open the greatest thing about truth is the peace it brings to your life i hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me you have taught me once again how love will bring you further in life something that marianne had been trying to show me all along Take care of each other, always in the steps, Tessa. That's a very kind message from Tessa. Ah, <sighs> Marianne's room. Of course, we gotta send a picture, to Allison. Any memories? Nope. Just an empty room. (laughs) (laughs) That's cute. Ah, man. Nice. Hey goblins, word in town is you guys finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there's nobody home. Are you gone already? Things change so fast these days. Anyway, you know where to find me if you want to fix things. If you're still in town, I mean. It's kind of, it's getting late and I'm pretty tired. Oh, and I'm sorry for acting like the stupid ass I am. Even where everywhere I look, I think about what used to be. I've been trying to do better, but I think it might be too late for an old bear like me. Not sure if this will reach you. It's getting late. Call me if you're still around. Be safe. I wish it was as easy to fix everything as a boat. is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. You really about to leave a laptop behind? Uh, must be a relief to finally be done with that place, Ty. No doubt, if traffic's not too bad, I should be back at our place around 4pm. Mike, haha, traffic in Dallas, only if the mailbox bandit escaped. Michael, hey, I'm making that biscuit thing you like. Ty, damn on my way, I'll probably take out some fire <laughs> hydrants and stop signs. Mike, don't die, I'll keep it warm. See you in a few. Cute. Nice. Oh, yeah, we are taking the laptop. I was about to say, like, we're not just gonna leave that there, what the hell? And the extra codes over there. Um, no reason to go outside, we were just there. Most wanted escapes Fuzzy Bandit puts mail at peril once again. Chaddington app was that the name? That's pretty funny. I doubt they put too much work into naming an app that took like ten seconds of uh, my time. What's on the floor? I feel like I missed that. Oh man, can't believe that we're already done. Juno University. Christ. It's been a interesting series, and uh, I'm sad to already be done with it, because it, it was only three streams, man. What a beautiful, beautiful game. If you guys want to play it, you should, because it'll probably be different the way you play it. The basic story is the same, but the uh, 
you know, a lot's still different. Every choice you make changes it a little bit. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. <laughs> I'm surprised someone who's like LGBT and like you know progressive would use Mr. and Mrs. Goodbye room. Goodbye room. Goodbye man on the moon. Were the first two streams named after a specific song? Yeah. For posterity. Yeah, they were. No memories, huh? All right, I guess we're done. We've checked every room. It's time to go. <laughs> Don't know what she sent, but uh, all right. It's time to head out. I'm sad, man. It's quiet. I'm alone in here. I mean, I'm gonna go see Michael and uh, fucking Allison, but. Time to leave the house for good. It's over. Oh, wow. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. Part of me is just like, why didn't they just bulldoze the house? Get rid of all the memories, but this is better. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Locked up and left the Ronin house with Tyler. Completed the story with the twins strongly bound together. Those were the two achievements. Alright. Man, <laughs> it's over. Allison was grateful. They completed Marianne's puzzle. 83% uh, completed the puzzle. Allison was influenced by Tom's testimony. Wow, that's really split. The twins trusted their bond and kept their voice. 5% let go of their voice. Wow. I wonder how that storyline went. I mean, I'm going to have to play through it if I want to get all the achievements anyway. Because one of the achievements is for their bond to break. Which means 5% of people have gone back and... Or they just, from the beginning, had a bad bond. 67% confess the truth. Um, I think that had to happen. Sam felt understood by Allison. 70% listened to Sam's story. And 30% confronted, confronted, confronted him with his addiction. I don't even remember that one. 
68% kiss Michael. Hell yeah. And that's it. And a little bit of a disclaimer. How many channels do you think is too many to follow? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't watch Twitch much, to be honest. That was a good disclaimer. Because um, this is a harsh story. We missed two of the objects. That sucks. I follow like 100. Holy crap. I mean, yeah, I I used to follow a hundred or so uh, YouTube channels, so fair enough. But uh, with that, we come to an end. Sorry about the crash in the middle. I have no idea why I did that, but um, man, I'm a little sad. I am a little bit sad. That was a really interesting thing to like go through um Marianne's suicide or potential suicide was a hard hit because I didn't expect that to happen at all but there we go I guess I mean yeah <laughs> I don't really know what else to say other than that um Ellie's live and he's playing a cute little game and um I think he might appreciate a bit of a raid, even if I don't have too many viewers. So let's hit him with a raid. But um, other than that, man, it's over. This game's over. I'll be back probably next week with another game, probably on the Xbox or Switch. I'm thinking Animal Crossing because people were really hyped to see me play uh, Animal Crossing. But uh, yeah. If you guys want to rewatch this, if you missed any part of the story, I will be uploading on YouTube as soon as I possibly can. It's probably going to be really easy to edit because I'm not going to edit too much. I'm going to post like either one hour or 30 minute videos and they'll go through the entire narrative. You won't miss anything. You'll understand the entire story if you just watch those videos. So uh, if you want to rewatch, if you missed parts of it, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. This track will be up this weekend so you guys can enjoy that. I'll show it off on Tuesday. Uh, I know people have been hyped to see that because Ellie and my friendship is something that people like a lot. But, you know, other than that, I'm going to go chill out because I'm emotionally drained. <laughs> and I'll see you guys very soon. Enjoy the next stream that you watch. Bye.